Good morning guys. Derek and I just got back from a week-long vegan cruise and if you can't tell in my voice I'm kind of sick right now. I got actually really sick on the ship. I had the stomach flu for two days and then the rest of the time I really had just like this sore throat like my throat was so swollen the what is it the glands in my throat I could like press on them and they're really hard. Anyways this week I want to do a little bit different kind of a video. I want to do an entire week of showing you all of my meals and what I eat the entire week and I think it will be kind of helpful just because you'll be able to see how I put all of my meals together throughout the week so if I make like a big batch of something that I eat it for two or three days and that I eat very simply and that I really do eat the same foods all the time because I tell you guys this you know that we basically eat the same stuff every week and I kind of eat the same foods every day I'll get really into a food I'll eat it for three or four days and then I'll make something else and that's just kind of how I eat because it's really simple and it doesn't require a ton of work I just kind of have to make one big thing every few days and it's great I'm gonna make breakfast now I have been having these green smoothies I actually got these smoothies on the cruise ship and I never thought to like put all these ingredients together but it's amazing I'll show you guys how to make it for my favorite smoothie, we are going to need one cup of frozen mango, one cup frozen pineapple, one to two cups of chopped kale, one stalk of celery, one chopped green apple, one lemon with the seeds and the peel removed from the outside, one fourth of an English cucumber with the skin, and then a big thumb of ginger, depending on how much ginger you like. For my second breakfast, I basically just took a cup of mushrooms, a cup or two of steamed kale, and then a few potatoes and chopped all that up. And then I added in some red bell pepper and red onion into a saucepan with just a little bit of coconut aminos and just cooked that up until everything was nice and soft. This is a very simple way to get more veggies into your diet. I love having a very veggie heavy meal in the beginning of the day to keep me full and satisfied. Just having a little pre-dinner snack of some veggie sushi with some ginger and then I always just put wasabi mixed with coconut aminos. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to make pea soup for dinner. I'll put as many of the recipes down below um, as links for you guys as possible, but I'm gonna make pea soup. This is my favorite healthy soup. It's been kind of still chilly here, so it's been really good to just have a really hearty, warm, comforting soup. And especially when I'm sick, I love having soups just because they make me feel so much better and I like having a lot of water-rich foods, if that makes sense. Like, soups are just really filling and comforting for me, especially in the winter and especially when I'm sick. So we're gonna make that right now. I will leave the link below to the full recipe on this pea soup, but I usually just use a cup of split peas, two to three chopped russet potatoes, some chopped carrot, a few garlic cloves, two stalks of chopped celery, and some onion, and then some better than bouillon. And all you do is basically just throw all of that into your instant pot, cover it with some water. You can cook it for 20 minutes if you want. I like to cook it a little bit more sometimes, so I'll cook it for like an hour to make it really, really creamy. Um, but if I cook it for only 20 minutes, what I do is I just take my immersion blender and just blend it to make it really creamy. This is one of my favorite soups that I make pretty much every single week and Derek doesn't like it so I get to eat all of it. So I had a small bowl once it was cooked because I wasn't that hungry and then about a few hours later I had another bowl that I just put some nutritional yeast on and I had a ton more I like basically just filled this bowl to the top and that was everything that I had today on Monday. Good morning it is Tuesday uh, I'm gonna about gonna I'm about to go do some yoga um, but first, I'm gonna make my green smoothie. And just to talk about my exercise routine really quick, 
I um, do yoga every single morning, so maybe you don't see it in like all of my videos or whatever. I'm still sick and it's still really hard to breathe. Oh my gosh. And then typically, actually every day, except for the first day I got back, <laughs> I was really sick. Um, I walk at least 10,000 steps a day, so usually like 10 to 13,000 and that's not really that difficult for me because we walk our dogs two miles in the morning and then I'm like busy running around and doing gardening and just doing stuff all day and I'll take a few walks in between like editing or whatever I'm doing during the day. Then I go to the gym about three times a week and just do like a full body routine which is mostly focused on mm, my legs and I'll do some upper body stuff in there, but I'm not like super into upper body. It's just not my favorite thing to train. So yeah, I'm gonna make my smoothie, go do some yoga. Hopefully this smoothie cure kicks this sickness out and by tomorrow, I'm better. Just having my green smoothie this morning. This one looks a little bit more green because I didn't have any spinach so I just put my um, greens powder in here which makes it a lot more green yeah this is breakfast having the same exact thing that I had yesterday. The potatoes, mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, and spinach with some hot sauce on top. So good. When it's all in the pan to season it, I just used a little bit of this Trader Joe's chili lime sauce and then this mango habanero sauce. Having some more sushi for a late lunch, early dinner. I don't really know. I have like five meals a day. This is another meal. <laughs> So for dinner tonight, I am going to actually eat some red lentil chili that we cooked um, the day that we got back, so this isn't something that I prepped for this video, but we just have some red lentil chili. I'm just going to throw that on the Instant Pot. Then I am going to eat my chili with the rest of this steamed kale. One thing that I really like to do to make sure I eat enough vegetables is I will buy a two pound bag of kale and then I'll steam the entire thing and then I'll just eat it like throw it on the side of all of my meals I also do that with broccoli or I'll make different side dishes of vegetables so one that Derek really likes is this Szechuan green beans and asparagus that I make but it really helps me feel my best and feel full all the time still sick so the thing about me is that I freaking love food I love to eat I love food so much I hate being hungry and this is just what works the best for me is having a lot of vegetables because I go by the idea that like if I am truly hungry I will eat vegetables and I eat vegetables as a snack I'll throw them on the sides of all of my food um, like main dishes just to keep myself full and that's just what really works for me. They're super low in calories, they're super filling, high in vitamins, nutrients, minerals, all those things that your body really needs. And that's just my, the way that I think about things. And I love vegetables. If you don't love vegetables, you will get used to them. You just need to find some good recipes. If you guys want me to make a video on my favorite veggie dishes that I make and that I throw on the sides of all my food or I eat as snacks, let me know and I'll make that video for you guys. Um, but yeah, I can't say enough about vegetales. Is that how you say it? I'm trying to learn Spanish. But yeah, that's just a little tip for you guys. And you'll see me eating a lot of vegetables with everything. By the time that I ate the red lentil chili, Derek had eaten most of it. So I just had one bowl with some of my homemade hummus on top and some green onions. And then he really wanted to try making twice baked potatoes. And I'm probably gonna make a recipe for this soon. We need to tweak it a little, but it was really good.
So Derek had this brilliant idea to make twice baked potatoes. Hot. <laughs> Is it good though? <laughs> now that you have no taste buds left, it's, it's not too bad. It's okay. It needs like a few minutes to cool off, but they look really point. good. They are very good. I had one twice baked potato, and then I actually had two bowls.